Hello, everybody. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Oh, nice. <laughs> Why? Why? Today has nice? been a, a long day of work. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why, why, why has it been? Uh, we are here. <laughs> why has it been a long time? Um, have you had any uh, special activities? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I have uh, two video conferences. Uh huh. And I. I am. I'm a teacher. In in the morning, I I was uh, taught. You were taught. what? I I I, I always have problems with the verb of teach. In the past. Ah, okay. I was teaching. I was teaching. <laughs> I was teaching in the morning. You were teaching in my group of class. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So what what do you teach, Roxy? Uh, it's a subject. It, 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 se llama expresión oral y escrita. Ah, it's called expresión. De la lengua española. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right. Good. And um, how many students mm -hmm. do you have? Ninety-seven. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> a lot. Of, a lot of people. <laughs> but you're still yeah. all of this virtually, right? Yes, yes, in a virtual way. And uh, mm -hmm. and I have faith in him because they don't 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 connect with the camera, just <laughs> the icons like me. <laughs> like exactly, that's what I was gonna tell you. <laughs> like me. I also have faith in my. But when I. <laughs> uh huh. I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. But it's interesting. Very busy. Yeah. And do they all connect? No, uh, no, around 71, 80, no, not at all. Not everybody connects. But, mm -hmm. No, but yeah, I the, the, uh, that situation always happens with the students. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, but well, mm -hmm. You know that's that's um, some, I <laughs> it's mean part of it <laughs> exactly. It's part of the 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 teaching process with this mo this um a way of teaching because there are advantages and disadvantages, right? Um, with uh, mm -hmm. virtual yes, and one of the disadvantages is that right that um, you cannot mm -hmm. uh, many times you cannot have somebody connect in because sometimes of um, a technical problems sometimes because they don't have the mm -hmm. resources for it too sometimes like they simply that's true enough internet for example um they don't have a, mm -hmm. a stable connection and they cannot uh be investing in in um data for for internet so it's, it's a little bit difficult so mm -hmm. that's true yeah so yeah. you gotta be there are many protections mm -hmm. yeah i know mm -hmm. So it's been a very hard day. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, we are here, happy, happy. <laughs> pardon me? We are here very happy with you. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, good. good. Um, how are you, Daniel? Good, teacher. I'm okay. Thank you. Good. Yay, you got the... Can you hear me? <laughs> we can hear you. you got the uh, the audio working. <laughs> good, good. It's working. Yes. Do what I said. I, 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 I think it's uh, I have to switch twice before to connect my microphone. Ah, before connecting the microphone. Yeah, yes, yes probably. Please. Sometimes, yeah, it, it might like make a. a like it might um, be a, a configuration problem, right? So that that could be the reason. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But did you do what I asked? I told you yesterday. Look at the videos. Did you see that? No, no, no. I couldn't. Sorry. 
I, I yeah, okay. tried on weekend maybe. <laughs> but you're you're, you're gonna you're going yes. when, when you have the opportunity of going and seeing the videos, uh, you will see what it looks like, and you're you're gonna you're going to laugh. You you, you will laugh with us, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Somebody okay. told me in, in once once model uh, the last model uh -huh. English before. Yeah. Every class, every English class was the same, but I, I couldn't get it. But I guess is maybe uh, when I open the this platform soon for for a uh, public maybe. Yeah, uh, it could be. The my computer don't recognize the recognize the device, my microphone. It doesn't recognize my microphone. microphone. Yeah, that that could be the problem. Yeah. That's true. Let's keep on talking. Um, we reported speech. Are you ready? Second. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm actually trying to stop this thing. Okay. Hold on, just give me a second. All right. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's it's sometimes that just happens with technology. You have to. Um, uh, go with the flow. Maybe like uh, maybe is for uh, administration permission too. Could be, and yeah, that could be also the 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 reason. You're right. Yes, because uh, I asked somebody and they told me that uh -huh. because I am using a a non authorized platform that could oh. be affect my. Yeah, yeah. So that I'm not sure. Maybe I, I, I will try with my my PC, my personal PC. Mm -hmm. The last the next week. I'm not sure. I will okay. try. Yeah, well yeah, maybe that makes a difference. Yeah. Okay, and Grace, how are you, Grace? Sure, I'm fine. Yeah? Yes, sir, and we work uh, almost until midnight. Um, but we finished uh, everything. And we were making jokes about <laughs> the new year. <laughs> As you know that uh, most of the time we Turkey. <laughs> we were joking about that with all uh, our colleagues. And today, and we were in, in an alignment meeting uh, the whole day since uh, 8 a.m. to afternoon. So it was busy, but in another way. So I hope we can start this year better as we are. Yeah. It, are very wow. Yeah, I can only imagine. It, it sometimes is one of those days where meeting after meeting, after meeting, or just really, really long meetings, right? So it's a little bit exhausting. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, and Jose, how are you doing, Jose? Hi, teacher. I'm good. Thank you. Good, good. Every time I see you, I have the the um i get the desire to go swimming okay in the ocean yes in the ocean very relaxing <laughs> okay. yes. and with grace actually um you know for your your background you know what it looks like to me have you ever seen the movie um the time machine have you ever seen that movie with Grace? Yes, yes, but it's like a, an old one, right? Yeah, no, I know, I know it's an office, but the, but if, if do you remember that in that movie, The Time Machine, they live like um on the edge of a, a rock, something like that. So it looks like that. It looks like you're living on the edge of a rock. And, you know, just it reminds me of that. Picture. I just found it in Google. I've never been there, but. I, I, I don't think when I, when I saw it. Yeah, well, it looks, uh, it looks more futuristic. <laughs> That's what I can tell you. 
Okay, guys. Um, well, I'm glad that you guys are here. I know that you um, all have had a very tough week. I know that it's um, been, uh, you know, with inventory and um, the last day of the, of, the, of the month and then here today is the first day of the month, probably you have a lot of things to do at work. So I really appreciate that you guys are here. You're here on time. And that's great. Now, um, how are you guys doing with the platform? About the exercise? Yeah, how are you doing with the platform? Well, in my opinion, I was, I, I have tried to complete the sentences, but I am um, failed. I know, I, I, I have failed because I don't know why I had a lot of mistakes when I write the sentences. And my, in the two uh, exercises, the first one is uh, the first exercise with the sentences and the report is speech. I have tried to, to feel, to complete those exercises. And I don't know why, it's just one, uh, I have a good one. I don't know. Only one is, 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 is good. Is good and the other ones, no. I, 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 I have checked the sentences, but I don't know where is the mistake. Okay. Me too, teacher, I have only one good. <laughs> okay. Um, what are you guys, I'm gonna do then. <laughs> we should, we should do this here right now. <laughs> I see. Well, I can I can help you with the with the ones that you are having problems with, but we can't really be taking our time from the, um, to do the exercises from the platform because that's something apart here. This this. The class is basically to help you guys, right, with your, the problems that you're having. So, um, something that I wanted to let you know is the following. Um, I need you guys to really, like, uh, we've been checking there with the, the platform, and we've noticed that um, we are uh, very behind. Many of you have not completed um, all of the exercises, and so I really, really need you guys to work a little bit uh, harder there with the exercises. Now, what I'm gonna do is I need, I, I sent you guys um, the direct speeches, right? And um, everybody got the direct speeches? The ones that I asked for you to do for homework? Yes? No? Yes, I, I sent my exercises. No. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know you sent your exercises, Roxy, yeah. Okay, but what about the others? Because I don't know what what's happening with no. the others did you do it, I didn't have it. sorry i didn't have time teacher. you didn't have time didn't check okay. again yes sorry see that that's the reason why i send these exercises is for you guys to have that um practice that extra practice and so that when you do the exercise in the platform you do them correctly that you're not getting in frustrated because you have already done exercises that are similar and then it will be easier for you in the platform. So what I'm gonna do quickly, I'm, I'm actually, um, I'm going to be taking you to breakout rooms. And what I need you guys to do is to compare with a partner your answers for the homework. I'm gonna give you, I'm not gonna give you too much time because you should have already done it and you should have the answers in them. So it's just a matter of comparing, okay? Um, like I say, I always say to my, my, my students, remember it's compare, not complete, <laughs> right? So I'm just, uh, you know, just something that <laughs> I want you guys to remember this, right? Because yeah, that's the idea. We want to share our answers and see if, if um, you know, somebody else, if you know, my partner has something different than I do, then we can, we can see where's the problem, right? So I'm going to get you to, we're gonna divide you into uh, breakout rooms, I'm just going to get you to work in pairs and tools, and you can compare with each other. I will give you six minutes, okay, to do that. It shouldn't take you too long, okay, so six minutes. Um, all right, let me see. Let's see, I have two, four, six, okay, so three rooms, and we're going to do six minutes.
Okay. All right, go ahead and join your, your room. Hi, Josue. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, and you? Are you able okay, to? Okay, good. Okay. Um, the others are in the breakout room, so I'm just going to send you to one of the breakout rooms. Um, okay. And okay. what we're doing is uh, we are, we are um, comparing the answers to the homework. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, I'm going to send you to breakout room number three. Okay, thank okay. you. Go ahead. Yeah, yes, because um, usually I give you this number, and I think it's for that reason. I don't know. It's seven seven eight six eight six five nine. Uh, please repeat. Seven seven. Yes. A six. No. Seven seven. Eight seven. Eight seven. Okay. Eight six. Hmm? Five nine. Ah, okay. Seven seven eight seven eight six five nine. Yes. Uh, how are you guys doing? Hello. <laughs> I'm yeah. saying to Daniel that I'm not in the WhatsApp group. Oh, okay, okay. If you're not in a WhatsApp group, um, what you gotta do, Veronica, is go to the email that um, that they sent you with all of the passwords. There is an email that they should have sent you with the passwords. And with that email, um, you should have a, a, a link that will be for WhatsApp. So you can do it one of two ways. You can either open it up, open up the email through your cell phone and go directly to WhatsApp or you can open it through the computer and then go through WhatsApp web. And that will automatically take you to the 
um, to the, the group. So you will be able to join immediately. Mm, okay. 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 So just look for that email oh, that they yeah. sent you. Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions? Uh, yes. Uh, I have a question, teacher. We we are yeah? trying to do the, the, the last homework. Oh no, okay. what, what it's supposed to do? The <laughs> homework, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're sharing the, the answers. How do you say the, how, how do you call this exercise a correct response now? No, how was? How do you work? What do you mean, how do you work? Um, how, how do you call this this subject? What, what we are watching? Oh, this is a recorded speech. This recorded, recorded speech. speech. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> That's. You're welcome. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to go and help the other group. So um, I'll I'll be calling you back in about two minutes. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay? All right. Do you guys have any questions you want to ask me? No question. No questions. No. Okay. All right, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and join the other group just to see if they have any questions in about two minutes, we're gonna go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Let's check, no. 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 Hi right, guys, do you have any questions you wanna ask? <laughs> a lot of questions, teacher. <laughs> okay, we, 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 <laughs> with Josue, <laughs> oh, thank you. We are checking the first exercise using yeah. infinitive and gerunds. Okay. But uh, we have a problem uh, in the four sentences using, uh, the, the sentences that said is not unusual in the U.S., to address a professor by his or her first name. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, have read so before before, address. You can, before you continue, Roxy, you're talking about um, you're talking about the platform. Yes. Right? You're not talking about the uh -huh. homework. Yeah, we we have checking the platform. Okay. No, because you were supposed mm -hmm. to check the homework. Uh, okay. we have to check the homework. The homework, yes. Uh huh. But ah, if you have any questions the about homework. the platform, I can answer too. Ah, no, no. I understood that the platform with the exercise, the platform. No, no. I the homework. Just ah, checking the answers. Ah, okay. Okay, Jose. No, it's okay. Just to check the, <laughs> the homework. Okay, I I always have uh, different questions about the platform, but. Maybe later we can ask to you. Okay. All right. No problem. Uh -huh. All right, guys. I'm Maybe actually we are going, going to, check to be, the I'm actually going to be closing the break rooms in about a moment. Okay, less than a minute. All right. So just finish off okay. um, discussing anything you need to discuss, and I'll see you back in the main room in a moment. Okay. okay? No problem. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you.
teacher what happened it's just you and me <laughs> yeah they haven't they haven't come back but they have to now ah okay <laughs> okay whether they want to or not they have to come back <laughs> okay all right everybody, okay. everybody now um i'm missing someone who am i missing uh there were seven people ceci falta ceci is missing ceci ceci y, y jesus no pero pero carmencita no pero ahorita cuando cuando estábamos en el break room había un grupo de tres Ay, no yo no 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 ahorita no están pero es que había sí había un grupo un grupo de tres quiénes estaban Yo estaba con Josué. No sé quién es o quién es más. Ok. Bueno. Ok. All right, guys. Um, so, um, uh, let me see. What we're going to do right now is check the answers um, to see if you guys understood it or not. Ok. All right. So, yesterday we were looking at the reported speech, which is... Um, when you say what another person has said, you report what another person has said, but you do not say their exact words. Instead, what you do is um, you only report, you report um, the ideas that they're said. They said, but something you also have to remember is that um, when you're reporting what the person says, um, you have to make sure that you always go to the past, right? So if you are, if the person originally said something in the present, then everything will be in the past. If they said something about the past, and um, everything basically is going to be in the perfect form. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay. Any questions about that? For, for if, if you, anybody, I think everybody, okay. everybody, no, teacher. who was missing yesterday? Who was, who was, who was not here yesterday? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Ah, that's right. It's true. It's true. We're saying, Veronica, we're not there. We're not here yesterday. Okay. So, but did you guys have the opportunity of watching the video of yesterday's class? No. 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 You didn't see the, the video? Mm, okay. All right. If, no, I don't. If you have the opportunity of watching the video, I strongly suggest that you do that. Um, yeah, you, I strongly suggest you do that. Um, okay, let's just open here, trying to get the exercise. Okay, for some reason, only one picture wants to open and the other one doesn't. Ah, there it is, okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to share my screen here. Um, okay. Tell me when you see my screen. Mm, not yet, but I hope in seconds okay you're seconds away yeah. from my, my screen. yes now you can see it no yeah yeah yes okay. yes okay great so um so we have here sentences um in the this is the direct speech this is exactly what the people said and if you notice the If you notice, um, they have given us exactly the structure that we have we have used, right? So that should be simple because now all you got to do is change. So as I told you before, 
what you have to be, the only thing you're going to be changing is, for example, the, the present will be changed to the past, right? And the past will be changed to the perfect form, et cetera, et cetera, right? So if you have, okay, so in the case, like, for example, of the simple past, like this one here, then what you're going to do is make sure that you're, all you do is change the perfect, the past to the perfect form. Okay, right, and in the case of the future, we're going to keep the simple, the simple form, but all we're going to do is change the, um, for example, the auxiliary in this case is will. Actually, let me redo that. Okay, well, anyways, that's the idea here. Okay, so let's see, Daniel, could you give me please uh, the answer for number one? He said, I live in the city center. How would you change this to the past? He said, I live in the city center. Sorry? No, he said, yes. He said, I lived in the city center. Okay, good. I lived, very good, the simple past, right? Lived. Exactly, I lived, that's perfect. Now, the only thing, what you said was, like grammatically, um, the, the verb is changed correctly. The only problem is that when you say, he said I, then when you are reporting that I, is no longer about he, it's about you. <laughs> okay, so you would have to match. If he said I, then when you report, you would say he said that he lived yes. in the city center. Okay, but yes, else was okay. Very good. Okay, is he said he lived in the city center? Correct. He said he lived in the city center. Very good. Okay, Rox, Roxy, could you give me number two? The second one over here. Okay. Number two, he said that he was going out. Very good. There you go. Excellent. All you got to do is you, you got to keep the continuous form, right? That uh -huh. yeah. The only thing you're going to be changing is that present part you're going to change it to the past right so yes, yes the verb to be here is going to be changed to the past that's all so he said he was going out very good excellent okay veronica would you help me with number three this one here he said i he said i finished uh, he said that he had finished. Excellent. There you go. Very good. Very, very good. So I'll, so we go, we're going, the only thing we're going to be changing here is the, the present, right? But we're going to be keeping the perfect form, right? So it says, so he said he had finished. The perfect form comes from the finished. And all we're doing is changing the, the present. So instead of having I have, you say I, I had. Okay, good. Let's go now to Selena. No. Yeah, Selena, could you help me with this one? He said he have been studying a lot. Beautiful, excellent. So you're going to continue using the perfect continuous that you're, you're going to keep the same. And the only thing you're going to change about this one is the present form. Instead of saying a present perfect continuous, you're going to change it to the past perfect continuous. So the only change is over here in the have changes to had. Very good. Excellent. Um, let's see who, Veronica, no, Veronica already gave me one, right? Grace, Grace hasn't given anyone. 
So this is one right here. Oh, no, 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 sorry. This one, he said, I, ha I arrived before you. He said that he had arrived before you. Okay, good. He had arrived, right? Yes. Because remember, the past of the past is the past perfect. Good. All right. Now, the only thing is, um, remember what I told you, what I told Daniel about that you? So if you say, he said, yeah. I had arrived before you. Me for me. For me. Now, the you refers to the first person, right? To the person that is, is reporting. So in that case, it would be, um, it could be either, it could be, he said he arrived before me, or he said he, arri he had arrived he before us. Because also, remember, you can be plural, right? That's the only difference. But everything else is, is you got it. Okay, good. Josue, help me with this one. He said he had already left. Perfect. He said he had already left. Very good. And... Sorry, could you repeat that, Josue? He Just said he had ar he said he had already left. Yeah, there you go. Excellent. So Josue is actually reporting. He's he didn't read this one, he just reported it directly, and he's absolutely right. Remember that the past perfect stays the same. Right? We don't, we don't do any change to it because it's like I mentioned yesterday, you hit a wall, so it's going to be exactly the same. So we're going to be using the exact same here. Okay? Um, and that's perfect. Yeah, excellent. All right. Um, Jose, if you, can you give it a chance? Can you get a try here with this one? Okay. Okay. He said that he would be there at 2 p.m. Okay. Okay, very good try. Thank you, Jose. All right, you're almost there. I just want to I ask you a question, Jose. What is the past of will? Because apostrophe LL is the short form of will. So what is the past of will? Yes. The past. Yeah, the past of will. Uh, was? Mm. Can you give it a try? Another try? Uh, who? Sorry, who's, who said that? I don't know, did you? <laughs> think it was Selena. Selena, who? did you say, did you say something? Who? The past for will is will. Did you hear that, Jose? Yes, she say will. Exactly. So the past of will is would. So how about if you try saying that sentence again using would? Exactly what you said. The exact words you said, just change will to would. Okay. It's not correct if I say, he said that he will be there 2 p.m. Uh, no, because we have to go to the past. And so we said, just change exactly. So the, that sentence that you said, just change it to the past. Change it, the will, to would. That's the only thing you have to do. Okay. 
So what would it say? He, he said that he will be there at 2 p.m. He, he said what? that. Jose, he said that he. Mm -hmm. He would. What's the passive will? Would. Good. So he said that he. Just, just insert the word would. He said that he. He would be. Yes. Uh-huh. He, he will be there at 2 p.m. Perfect. There you go, Jose. Exactly. He said he would be there at 2 p.m. Exactly. Do you understand why, Jose? Yes. Okay. Good. There you go. That's all you got to do. Excellent. Okay. Um, Selena, help me out with, or, yeah, I think so, right? I think Selena, did, Lina, did you give me an answer? Yes. Okay, all right, so let's go. Number three. Okay, okay, no problem. Veronica, I think, hasn't given me an answer. Can you give the last one to me, Veronica? I give you an answer, but... Oh, you did? Yes, but he said, I'm going to call Alan. And he's... Uh, let me see. He said that he was going to call Alan. Perfect. There you go. He said that he was going to call Alan. The only thing, so we're going to keep the same. We're going to keep it the same. We're going to be using uh, be going to. Okay. The only difference is um, that we're going to be changing the verb to be to the past. That's the only difference but everything is the same, okay? All right, excellent. Any questions at this moment? No, teacher. That's good. Okay. All right, let me erase this quickly because I want to do something before the end of the class and we still have to check the other... Okay, all right, so this was with the tenses. Now we're gonna look at um, auxiliaries. Basically, it's going to be the same here. I'm going to I'm going to actually go a little bit quicker here. Just oops. Let's um, there you go. All right. Um, I'm actually going to right here. So it's going to be the same thing. All you got to make sure is that what we do is insert the word that. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have that over here. Also, we're going to put that. So you guys can visualize it a little bit better. Okay. All right. So all we're doing with this is we got to make sure that the word that is in there. Okay, that's the first step. First step is making sure that we're adding the word that. So we're going to put here that. Okay, right here that. Okay, so we're going to say she said that, she said that, she, everything is gonna be that. The only thing we're gonna do here is we're going to be changing the auxiliary, the model auxiliary. Instead of putting can, what's the passive can, guys? 
So we're gonna we're gonna put all the, the past of the verbs. I'm gonna change this. She said that she could. Okay, good, exactly. So we're going to be changing can to could. Okay. Yeah. So she oh. said that she in this case also that we're gonna have to change the I to she. Okay, so because remember that um, the I refers to when she says I can swim, then the I is referring to her. So we're also going to have to change that. Okay, so actually, I'm going to do something. I think it's going to be easier if I do it like this. So she said that she could swim. Okay. The same thing here. What's the past of must? I said I mentioned this yesterday. Who remembers? What's the past of must? Uh, exactly. Very good. So she uh, said. Mm -hmm. had. She said had. Mm -hmm. She had. Okay. She said that she had. Um. She had to go, sorry. She had to go, uh-huh. Oh. Had to, okay. And then it, I, I have a question. It means that we have to use she had or, or the subject in, in had, no, not correct. must, must the correct. No, no, because had. passive must is had to. That's the passive. Had to, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So okay. There, she said that she. What's the passive name? Had to. Mm -hmm. What's the passive name? Might. She said that good. she. Very good. Might. Axel. Yes. Might. Mm -hmm. She might. So she said that she might drive there. Okay. So uh -huh. What's the past of shall? This one's a tricky one. Anybody know? Shall we? Shall. Should. 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 Exactly. Very good. Oh, sorry. So it's she should. No. That, sorry, sorry. No, it's not she in this case because shall she. is referring to us. Right? So she said that. She said that uh, she. No. no. Here. She said that she. Look. I subject? don't know. I don't, I'm inventing. I don't know. The subject? That you should. Good. No. The subject is? We. We. She? Exactly. Oh, we. Ah, we. So she said that. We should. We, we should. should. Exactly. So we she said that we should. We should. So she said that we should. We should start. Exactly. That we should start. She asked. Mm -hmm. Very good. And the that, last one. That, What's the passive will? We just mentioned it. She said that she would call you. Good. There you go. That she would call you. Next. Okay. There you go. So all you got to be careful, guys, is that you're that. Being the pa you're putting we it should, um that we should you're putting the past of the models oops that's all you gotta you gotta be careful with okay you put, make sure you put the ma the past of the models okay any questions mm -hmm. no no it's no? clear the explanation mm -hmm. all right okay guys now, this is uh, pretty much the last topic that we have there. Um, now, what I'm actually going to be looking at right now, in the last few minutes of the class, I want to go over. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see.
Okay, so guys, um, pretty much uh, for Monday, you guys should be already completed um, the second section because you remember this is this is um, the second week, right? So in theory, we should have already done week one, right? The section one, and then we do section two, right? The second week. And then section three would be for week three. So next week would be week three. Okay. So that's something I got. I, I would like you guys to really be working on. Remember that tomorrow we don't have any class. So it's something that you can start looking at, right? You can start looking at um it, you can start looking at um the or, or better said catching up. Uh, with the sections, right, section one and section two. Um, and you can always write to me if there's something that you don't understand. You can always write to me. That's not a problem, okay? Um, so I'm going to show my screen right now. Can you guys see the my screen? Okay, no problem. Can you guys see my screen or not yet? Yes. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, so in section two, guys, you will notice that we have the midterm exam. Okay. So in the midterm exams, there's listening. Okay, there's a listening portion. Okay. Um, of course, with the listening portions, guys, um, you're, you're not expected, uh, or better said, um, it's, it's something like um, you can't really, really study for, for the listening part, but we should at least know that it's there, right? And you guys can, um, can work on it. How has, who has been able to go into the midterm and look at the information from the midterm? Who has had that opportunity? I have. Yeah? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. And uh, any questions? Mm, no. No? Okay, all right. Okay, so in this moment, so it says here the instructions listen to a call in a radio show, then choose the phrases that best complete each sentence, right? So this is um, a radio show that you're going to be listening to, and one of the people that is in the show is Jonathan. Okay, so here we just have it's very clear, you just got to choose. It's actually not very long, um, just four sent four questions here. Okay. Um, and each one has has three answers. So basically, you have uh, what a third one, like a thirty three percent chance that you're going to get it correct, right? Now here we have a news report, okay, about a robbery. Oops, about a robbery. It's a news report, and again, not very long. We only have uh, four questions. Right, and they're true or false, so that's super easy, right? That's fifty percent chance that you got it correct. Okay. Um, all right. Any questions about the listening part? No. Okay. All right, so here, um, we remember what we, we were talking about before, about being polite, being uh, what is polite, what is rude, what is considered to be appropriate, inappropriate, et cetera, et cetera. So those are the things that you're gonna be looking at here when you're choosing the words. So for example, when someone gives you a gift, 
this this phrase thank you would you consider it to be it's polite or it's rude okay so that's all you got to do here um decide on the vocabulary there that we have seen in class it's appropriate it's inappropriate um he uh, okay um here's a little bit of the structures right okay all right, so it's not too long very much. You just have to decide uh, which one was the correct, if it's going to be in the uh, the present perfect or the present perfect continuous. That's all you gotta do. Okay, let's take a look over here with the next part, which is uh, choosing quotations. Okay, um, now here, um, this one here is, um, is, uh, deciding, this is deciding what's the recorded speech. Okay. But I probably wouldn't suggest that you do that one right now. Not yet anyways, because, um, I would like to touch on that one on, on Monday. Okay. So this is the one that I don't, I don't suggest you do just yet. Okay. So th just this part. Okay. So don't do this part because I would like you guys to have the opportunity of getting the explanation on Monday, okay? And this part though, this one, um, this one you can do, but I wouldn't suggest doing it because anyways, um, if you can't do the first part, you might not be able to do the other part. So this one is reported speech. All you're gonna do is change, right? The simple present to the simple past and so on. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the other. I have a question, for example, in that portion. Okay. On go exercise back. three. Okay, don't worry, I'll go back. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, which one? Uh, no, it is on the, on the fourth, fourth tab. This one? Pam lost um, a lot of weight? Yes, the, the three. Oh. Is anyone ready to leave? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how about, it's a question. Uh, whenever it's a question, yeah. Yeah, exactly. We that's, why, that's why I said that maybe this one, I wouldn't suggest doing this one in particular because I like to have a chance to explain that que the question form okay. um, and also other, other expressions that we use to report. I would like to do that for Monday. So I'm gonna be doing that on Monday. So um, in this part, I would, I would suggest don't do this part yet, okay? Because we're absolutely right. This part we have not seen yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and let's see. This one is, um, okay. So this one says, uh, complete the sentence with the verbs in parentheses, use the past perfect or the simple past. Okay, so straightforward, this verb in parentheses, you have to use in the past perfect or the simple past. Now, what's the difference between the two? Anybody can tell me what's the difference? Nobody knows? Okay, let me explain it to you very quickly. It's actually not that difficult to understand. If I'm gonna explain it to you with a timeline. Okay. And my timeline works like this. So this is the present. And since this is the present, since this is the present, then everything that happens over here is going to be what? Obviously, it's going to be the past, right? So everything that happens before the present is going to be the past, right? Anything over here is going to be the past. 
So what happens is that when you're telling a story, for example, you might have two activities, okay, in the past, two activities. So um, I'm going to. Let me draw here. Okay, so you might have an activity here or a, an event that happens here, and then you have another event that happens here. Actually, I'm going to change the color so it's easier for you guys to. Okay, there you go. All right, so maybe there are two events in the past, right? Event number one and event number two. And number two. Okay. So, and literally I put number one here and number two here because chronologically this one is first, right? This action happened first and this happened second. Now, when you're telling the story, the main events of the story are going to be in. These are going to be like the main events of the story. And the main events of the story, we're going to put them in the simple past. So if you say, for example, um, you know, yesterday I went to the movies. Okay. I know that that uh, not all the movie theaters are open, but I know that Cine, uh, Cine, no, it's about, but which one is the one that is in Galerias? Cinepolis? Cinepolis, right? Yeah, I think Cinepolis is open. So imagine, me, I say, okay, yesterday I went to the movies. So the main events is everything that happened at the movies. But anything that happened before the movies would be over here. And that's, that would be before the main event. And anything that happens before the main event is going to be in the past. Perfect. Okay. So I can say I went to the movies yesterday, but I didn't buy any popcorn because in, I had I had eaten a big lunch. Does that make sense? Guys? Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So that's how you can tell the difference. Anything that happens, um, main events, that happens the second the second event is going to be the simple past. Anything that happens before the main events that is the first chronological event is going to be in the past perfect. Okay. And let's see. Okay. Just making sure that you guys I want to go over this midterm because I really want to make sure that you guys understand this. And then you're doing it correctly. Okay, here we have the readings, right? Here we have the readings. Well, here you just you just it's reading comprehension, so there really is nothing that I can that I can prepare you for. You just have to make sure that you read correctly. Okay. All right. And okay, true or false? Like I said, that's nice because you have fifty percent chance of getting it correct. And I think this is the last one, the last part. Let me see. Let me just make sure.
yeah that's it that's it that's the last part just um three three parts okay so any questions about the midterm so like i said uh part a part b part d and part e i think you guys can do without any problem um just don't do letter c wait until monday i think i would say okay any questions guys No. No? Okay. Remember, I'm there in the chat to help you guys. So write to me. Um, like I said, I may not answer immediately because uh, when I'm at work and I can't be, I'm checking my, my, my email, uh, sorry, my, my, my phone. So I might, or I might not be able to answer immediately. But as soon as I have the opportunity, I will answer. So write to me, guys. Um, especially like tomorrow, for example, you guys are not are going to have, uh, let's say, a day off, let's say, and so you can use it for that. And I will be more than happy to help you at that time. Okay? Sounds good, everybody. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, teacher. All right. You're welcome. Take care, everybody, and I will see you on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Beautiful weekend. Just relax and, um, you know, be ready to, with all of your, your energy charged for, for Monday. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. You. See you, everybody. See you. Have a nice week. Thanks, you too.